This video is brought to you by jvjujitsuonline.com, the home to all JV Jiu Jitsu content, your source for strike based Jiu Jitsu. Check it out. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we'll be discussing positional basics, core ground positions. This is part number four supplemental positions. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So positional basics, core ground positions, supplemental positions. Supplemental positions are made up of leg locks and arm locks. These positions can be achieved from a variety of ground positions. These positions are not related to one another and generally do not work together. These positions attack the extremities of the body. These are usually secondary or supplemental attack positions. Supplemental positions work differently. Supplemental is broken up into two separate categories, leg locks and arm locks. These positions attack the opponent's extremities and are not related. Supplemental positions use the legs as a primary source of control rather than the chest and the arms. Supplemental is made up of leg locks and arm locks again. So, from turtle top and back mount offense, getting leg locks from there, getting leg locks from guard, side mount and mount, and getting leg locks from the leg lock position and from arm locks. So let's go ahead and see where we can get leg locks from. So from an offensive perspective, you really can't get leg locks from the back mount and you really can't get leg locks when you're encompassed in an arm lock. I know of one way to get a leg lock from the mount, possibly two. And the most common scenarios to get leg locks are from the turtle, from guard top, from side mount top, and obviously from leg lock offense. So getting leg locks from turtle bottom and back mount defense, guard bottom, side mount bottom, or mount bottom, and leg lock defense, and arm lock defense. So from a bottom perspective, where can we get leg locks? You can't really get leg locks from side mount bottom. You can't really get leg locks when you're in arm lock bottom. I know of a way to do it from the back mount, and that is if the opponent crosses their feet. And most commonly from turtle bottom, guard bottom, mount bottom, and leg lock defense, these are the most common places where you would attack leg locks. So let's take a look at arm locks from an offensive perspective, from chest to back, chest to chest, and supplemental positions. This is from an offensive perspective. We can't really get arm locks from guard top, and we can't really get arm locks from leg lock offense. I do know a way to get an arm lock from turtle top. And most commonly, the arm locks are secured from back mount, from side mount top, from mount top, and from obviously arm lock top. From a defensive perspective, we're looking at how to get arm locks from chest to back, chest to chest, and supplemental positions. Now we're discussing securing arm locks from a defensive or bottom position. You can't really get arm locks from turtle bottom. You can't really get them from side mount bottom. Can't really get an arm bar from mount bottom, can't get one from leg lock defense, and you can't get one from arm lock defense. The only places that you can really get an arm lock is from the back mount, and it's rare, I know of one, and from the guard. So this is your best chance of securing an arm lock from the bottom is to use the guard bottom position. That was my presentation on supplemental positions. Make sure to watch all four videos of core ground positions. Video one, we discussed the global overview. Video two, we discussed chest to back positions. Video three, we discussed chest to chest positions. And this was video four, supplemental positions. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more content from the master plan. See you soon.